Now, if you've ever had a go at building your own website and struggled, now is a great time to revisit that idea because Hostinger have just released an AI website builder that's going to make the entire process really, really simple, no matter what tech skills you have. So we're going to try it out and I'm going to build myself a website with it. I'm going to build an affiliate marketing website um, based around a niche and we're going to try out all these new amazing AI tools, including an AI logo maker. We're going to get a free domain with Hostinger as well so we can really get the site up live and working. And let's see if it really is that easy with the help of AI. Now, if you'd give Hostinger a go, then I highly encourage you to get the business plan because it's the best value. You can have up to 50 websites with that one. All you need to do is just click on the link in the description underneath, click choose plan. And then as soon as you see the checkout come up, use this little coupon code section here and just put in Jason West and click apply and you'll get a nice discount off of that. So I've logged into my Hostinger account and now we're going to go through the process of creating our AI generated website just by answering a series of questions. So the first thing is, is am I creating this for myself or not? It is for me and my business. If you're a web designer, you could also use this platform to create uh, brilliant websites for other people as well and save yourself a lot of time. But I'm going to click next and then we'll go on to this part here which says do you want to create or migrate a website if you have a website already on another platform you can migrate it over to Hostinger um, and also the other option there is I hired someone to help me with my site so that's kind of for someone who manages their own site but somebody else made it but we're going to go straight in and create a brand new website and then we have the choice here of using WordPress which is the most popular um, website publishing platform in the world now actually or Hostinger's website builder and this is the one that I'm going to use because this one's the most beginner friendly and the one that I think most people will want to use. WordPress can get a little complicated later down the line. Things need updating and everything and if you just want to keep this simple and get your business live online and looking great then let's go with the Hostinger website builder. And By the way there is a link underneath this video and a coupon code if you want to try this out then you can get a discount using my coupon code Jason West. So let's go next. Here we are. What domain name do you want to use? Well you get a free domain name with this when you sign up with Hostinger so that's really helpful because you can have everything in the one place. So I'm going to actually do a uh, website for robo lawnmowers. Well you know we're an AI channel we like technology and I love that niche to be honest with you and I'd like to create an affiliate website that does reviews about robot lawnmowers. So let's try a few domain names. Obviously, there's going to be an awful lot of uh, domain names that are taken, but I'm just going to try uh, my robo lawn mowers and see what it will find for us. And it will just automatically check to see which domain names are available. Um, my robo lawn mowers. Let's oh, well, we have the dot com there. So the dot com is the best one to have, really, in my opinion. Um, so my robo lawn mowers dot com is available and it's free for the first year and then sixteen ninety nine dollars for the year after. So let's kick off with that one. I'm quite surprised that's available, actually. That's really good. And then click next. And by the way, if you don't know what domain name you want yet, you can just build it on a temporary domain. So that is just a hosting a domain name just to get it up live. And then you can add your custom domain later on. So now we've got to register our domain name, which means entering in our contact details, whether that's for yourself, if you're registering it just for you or your company details. So I'll go ahead and I'll do it personally. I'll just skip past this bit so we don't have to blur everything out. Right, it's just finishing up the domain registration. So, so far, so good. Really simple and uh, easy to use. I think anybody can do this for sure without having any tech experience. And I guess once it's uh, done our domain registration, then it will move us on to the next phase, which is to actually construct our site using AI. We're going to put in our brand details and a description of our brand, and then we can just click create website using AI or underneath you can just see it says use a pre-made templates or, or use them. So if we click on that, you can see they have got literally hundreds and hundreds 
of different templates that, you know, you like the look of that site, then you can just click select template and then go forward from there. But I will just go back to our AI builder and I'll enter the brand name as uh, best lawn mowers in this case. And then a description, um, we test and rank the best uh, robot lawn mowers in the UK. There we go. And then we can click now, create a website. And this is where the magic happens, all being well. Here we go. So it's writing all of the unique content for us, uh, looking for matching pictures. Oh, and there we go. Look at that. Done. Um, discover the best robot lawn mowers for your garden in the UK. Hey, I don't think that's one. So we will be looking to see how we can replace that. Now that's more like it. Um, discover the best lawn mowers, 150 plus uh, customer approved lawn mowers. And then here's like reviews and then buying guides, which is all perfect kind of content here. And then a contact us form at the bottom as well. And then people can sign up to their mailing list already. We've got all of our social channels done. So this straight away gives us the ability to kick things off with a really professional looking site. And we can choose our color palette just here. I like the green one, but you can switch through them all. Just to take a little look, there you go, different different color schemes. Now we've gone this kind of purpley color. I like the green and black. And now we get to actually edit things if we want to, move things around, uh, change over images and all of that stuff. But the hard work has been done for us. So I'm just going to click uh, off here like that. Now, as we look through the site, there was definitely a few things we weren't happy with, such as these two images just here. But thankfully, it's very, very easy to just go and create the perfect image for you. You can upload your own images for a start, but if you wanted to just generate a general image, then guess what? You've got a whole load of AI tools ready for you. Just here, we've got an AI image generator, AI writer, so we can write a full post if we want to uh, on anything at all. We can create a full page using AI, a section, a blog post, um, even product details generator. If you are uploading a picture of a product, a physical product that you're selling, we've got an AI SEO assistant and even an AI logo maker. And we'll try that in just a moment. So let's now go to the AI image generator. And I would like to replace this picture here of a, a guy, you know, using a strimmer um, with an actual robot lawnmower. So um, I'll just put in a prompt like this. Can you create a picture of a robot lawnmower busy going up and down a beautiful green lawn of a back garden. There we go. Now I use Mac Dictate, by the way, the standard feature on the Mac just to be able to speak that prompt out. I, I like using it because it's just quicker. Oh, look, and there we are, look at this. So we've got a, a little mower just there and Let's have a little look at that picture there. That's quite a cool picture. I really like that. It does look like it's kind of automated. Obviously, nobody can pick that up and use it. So that's brilliant. Now, so we can create that and we can use that anywhere. So for example, now it's created a new section and put that image in. But if I want to put it just here, this is actually a blog post. These are two blog posts that have been included in the page. You can see the blog post just here. And then I can uh, take a look at the post settings and then the featured image, which is this guy. We don't want that. So we've got these pictures here that we can choose from our little one just there. And then we can click save. And then if we're happy with that, brilliant. So that's that's how you get around the site. Just on the left here, you've got pages and navigation. You can add more pages. You can use AI for that if you want to. And then you can change the color scheme of everything just here. There's all your AI tools. There's your blog posts. And of course you can just go ahead and add a new post. And then even products for sale as well with the e-commerce store uh, feature. So here's, an, here's another thing that we can do. We can add our blog post using AI. I'm going to go for 800 to 1000 words. We'll use a kind of casual tone and then we'll get it to write us a nice blog post about uh, cutting your grass. Can you write a blog post that teaches a novice gardener on how to create the perfect lawn that looks green and lush all year around? 
There we go, create content and off we go. And this is just a bit easier than maybe going back and forward from something like ChatGPT and then sort of copying the, the text and then pasting into here. Just do it all within the one system. And as I say, there is a link underneath this video and a 10% off coupon code from myself as well. So you too can start using this. So here we are creating the perfect lawn um, and understanding your lawn types of grass and soil preparation, essential lawn all care practices so you can see that creating content is going to be pretty easy you can go ahead and edit any of that if you're not happy with it by the way as well and then anytime you want to preview your site as to what it's going to look like on your new domain then this is how it looks just here we'll press the home button there you go so it all works very, very fast. As you can see, it loads very, very quickly, um, which is one of the most essential things when you've got yourself a website. It has to load quick. Very, very important. So let's go back to the editor just now. And now let's try out the logo maker because I would like to uh, generate a nice logo instead of this text logo there for best lawn mowers. So let's go straight over and get started. So we can choose an abstract one, a corporate, eco-friendly or natural. I like futuristic. So maybe let's go with um, futuristic and see what we can do. And then we're using up one credit to do this and we can buy more credits anytime we want to just here. But I'm going to say um, a robot lawnmower and next to it, the text um, best robo lawnmowers. There we go. So, and I'm even going to spell it right as well. There we go. Best robot lawn mowers. And we've got our settings here. You can make the logo colorful. I don't mind doing that. And then let's go. So here's our little AI generated uh, lawn mower logos, specifically for robot lawn mowers. I guess that one's that one's the one I like the most. It hasn't put the text in, but I would imagine we can do that at the next phase. Here we are. Yes. So text, and I'm going to pick um, a nice logo text. Let's go with this one. Pop ins, and then we can type in the name. Uh, best robot lawn mowers. There you go. Look at that. It's starting to look like the real deal here. And for, I'm probably just going to get rid of the best so it doesn't make it too long. Uh, robot lawn mowers. Find the best mowers in the UK. There you go. Little tagline done. And now that's ready to go. So we can download that logo straight away and then use that logo on our website. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll upload our new logo just in here. And you can see we've got a logo and a favicon as well. A favicon, if you don't know, is what appears in the top browser tab, a little picture there um, of the website. We'll get that logo, upload it, and there it is. So this is all very, very simple. We've got a nice logo just at the top there. You can even increase the size of it as well. I think we can do that. And there you go. It's starting to come together really, really quickly. And also what's very important that any website you produce is mobile friendly. And you can test that at the top here by just clicking on uh, mobile view and you can see how it looks and it looks really, really nicely formatted there as well. So um, let me know in the comments underneath, do you think you can go ahead and create a website with this with no technical experience? I would really like to know whether you think you can. I've been doing web design for a long time, but I have honestly never used hostinger before right now in this video and you know i find it um pretty easy to use you want to add an element you can grab it from here such as you know subscriptions social icons you want to add a video in you can just it's just drag and drop you can just move it around on the page get it where you want i would say idiot proof really um there's a little thing you can just pull that down it's just dead easy to use. If you want to increase the size of the video, it's just all, all very intuitive and drag and drop. And then if you want to add a whole section, you can click add section and then you can choose from all of these different templates here. So like quite professional, nice looking designs right from the off. For example, a common one is this one, like the map of the office sort of thing, or where you're based. So you can just drag that over, put in your coordinates um, or put in your address there. And then you've got yourself a, a nice looking sort of contact us section as well on your site. So I think this is a, a really good system for beginners, people who uh, want to be able to create their own site without having to keep going to a web designer and then paying a lot of money consequently. And then also when it comes to actually uh, making edits to the site, again, instead of having to contact a web designer, you can do it yourself.
because it's very, very easy. So that's it for this video. I really hope you um, decide to check it hosting her out again as a link underneath this video with a coupon code and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching